So in the previous video, we had uh, we had seen how we, you know I showed you how to get an exact match. If I had like 90 horsepower, I would get that engine with 90 horsepower. Now my problem is what if i don't have an exact match what if i have what if i'm looking for 95 horsepower and i got all that now that the cause of error here is that false so if i change that false to true i would get you see here now that works what i would get is a motor which is which has equal or smaller horsepower than the one I input. So I'm looking for 95 horsepower. I get that one because that one is equal or smaller or the, let's say, uh, let me put it like this. It's the largest motor, which is equal or smaller than uh, that 95 I gave it, I, I input. Okay. So basically if I put 110, I would still get that 90 horsepower uh, engine because that is the biggest engine smaller or equal to uh, that 110 bhp okay so that's uh, the difference between true and false false would give you an exact match whereas true would find the next engine which is which has equal or smaller horsepower than the horsepower you've input Okay, let me just change all of these to true. One important thing about uh, true, uh, about uh, using true is, is the following. When you use true in VLOOKUP, you're gonna make sure that your data is sorted um, in an ascending way. So basically, in uh, here, my data is now sorted in, uh, you know, uh, after power in ascending way. If you, if I, if I, let's say, let, let me just sort it differently. Let me just sort the uh, engines by, uh, I don't know, by mass descending. You see, now my engines are not sorted after power in an ascending way. And you see, even though I've got true everywhere, they don't work okay so make sure that when you use vlookups with true as your range lookup parameter make sure that your uh, first column in the data table is sorted in an ascending way so basically what you do is you click here and you go to sort let me just uh, let me just reduce that you go here to sort and sort smallest to largest a to z smallest to biggest and now you see i got my results back so that's a very important thing and if you use if you use false in your view lookup you don't you don't have to you know uh, watch out for that sorting the sorting of your data table doesn't matter but with true you've got to sort the first column of your data table in an ascending uh, manner now, my problem, or coming back to that the motor selection application, the thing what I would like, I'm getting, I'm putting in, uh, I'm, I've just input 110 horsepower, and I'm getting the 90 uh, motor. What I would like to get is the 113 motor because that motor would have, would 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 be able to cater for the 110 bhp that I need, whereas that 91 wouldn't. Or if I put in like 60, I'm getting the that one, the S440. And, you know, I would like to get the 90 because, you know, 54, if I, if I need 60 horsepower, 54 isn't going to be enough. So I need like more than 60, basically the next step, which is 90. Now, how do I do that? Well, getting the next biggest engine is possible but very hard to implement with vlookups in order to implement that we need another function or basically two functions and those are match and index and i'm going to show how these work in the next video